Greetings. Greetings, greetings. I want to give all honor and praises unto our Creator, our Most High. Hallelujah, Father. Family, I'm coming on with this video because it's been on me for a bit, but it's more so on me. I shared it somewhat in a previous video about um, this video that was done by um, this church out of Atlanta, Georgia, which was Eddie Long Church. But I've also seen this rabbi, which is a Jewish rabbi, um, by the name of Ralph Messner, who actually did a video in the congregation was mainly white people where, you know, blacks were sprinkled in here, there, but the church out of Atlanta of Eddie Long Church, it was mainly, um, black people. Okay. I hope I said that right. It was white people at one of the videos I saw and you didn't see them looking around like what what you know you're saying what again about these what they call African Americans but in his video which I went to look for from this uh what you see before you I went to look uh click on the actual video on Vimo and they already removed it but I believe it's on YouTube and if I come across it I'll add it to the description on here but um the white congregation of the ones where he went to this white church and he spoke this, you know, they didn't seem shocked. You understand? At the black church, the black people were shocked, basically, in so many ways, because when he said this. But what's so profound about this is that um, he speaks of a curse that was placed on um, the African Americans. But really, what I believe he said in his video that this curse was done in Africa where they went around this tree seven times and this tree of seven times they put three curses on them so it says here that um, self-proclaimed rabbi Ralph Messenger Messner a messenger uh, recently told a large African-American congregation at Bishop Eddie Long's New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, he said they are under a voodoo obey, uh, obia, uh, obia, juju curse. So this points to the Bible where it speaks about our people. Um, we're going to lose, you know, knowing not knowing our roots um, and then all the other far as the financial part that which is proven and also through you know many factors and also it says sexual immorality was going to be one of them and also um we were going to forget our roots like if we were you know being put to sleep so let's go down a little bit further here so this is what i just said what he stated that financial uh instability poverty stricken sexual immorality and a curse that lets them forget their roots okay so he was actually praying with them for them to denounce these curses and this was i want to say back as you see this video was back in uh 2012 um, far as this document, uh, this, um, far as this, you know, article was done back in February 8th of 2012. And, um, it's very profound family because from all what I've under, understand about our people, how we're linked unto our creator, the power that our ancestors had were their capabilities that were supernatural um, that's when you go into what one called a dark area, whether it's, uh, you can use your gifts or your, your power for, you know, greatness, or you can use it for wickedness. And so s some way, 
somewhere, somehow, we have to really take this in consideration that of all what, you know, one say, you know, they still have the powers to do certain things to certain people and do all of this. We have to say, well, where those powers came from and how so you're able to do all this, but you're not able to come together as collective and go against these people who has been ruling this earth. It's like, the mindset never went to say, oh, the powers that you do have that you, you know, put, you get with others with the same powers and go up against these people who have came in to devour, to the, to, um, to do all the things unto our people. And it's like that never, you know, to me, that from my understanding came across these people's minds. So I know as a greater reason why that is because it goes deep to the root of our people being um, placed in this lineup by a divine order. It just even proved to me even more that, wow, um, our people never thought to say unite and use our powers to overtake these people. It was more so, you know, one's doing an individual, they get money here, they get money there, they doing this, they're doing that. And it never was collectively for our people to get on one accord and knowing that, you know, what one's deemed as wicked, one's deemed as, you know, so evil, our ancestors had capabilities and we lost the way of that by believing in another deity or another, uh, you know, one that just came and say, just suck all our energy and our energy, how they harvest it and so forth is 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 what one say you know it aligns with the ley lines it aligns with how you know uh, the churches how you being gathered the steeple on top of the church of all ones that go into the churches that, that all that energy harvesting from you know point out which it directs towards the steeple which points out that brings forth this energy mass so as many ways you know of course you can look at it now on this lineup, I want to not forsake our creator in any way or have it to whereas I'm trying to belittle any lineup surrounding our creator. Family, I believe our creator is the ultimate. I believe in my whole heart that our creator is the ultimate. We may not understand the fullness, but we must come to a place to see that you know, just say they did do, someone did do this curse and went around the tree the seven time, seven times um, and put these three curses on us, supposedly as black people, but not only, you know, black people of America, it's the whole entire earth. You can go to any continent on the maps that we know of and point that there were black people, dark, you melanin people there first. And due to the inquisition that through the earth where they went in and they uh push black people out these different areas by by war by force by death by shifting them here to different places that speaks volume so on this earth as we know of today there is not anywhere on this earth and according to what, you know, it points to that white people can actually point and say it's ours. Everywhere they um, are at at this point is they're taking it by through an inquisition, really, whether they lie to get into the land. Like they said, they lie to get away from um, um, persecution of you know, of not serving, you know, uh, Christianity as far as being unto our, the, what they say, Christ. So they came to America to, to free up from the persecution. And uh, they lie about all the things that they lie about how to get here. You understand? They lie about when they went to um, Australia. They lied to get into there. They lied to get into Africa. They lied to get into Canada. They lied to get into South America. They lied to get into Mexico. They lied to get into Cuba. They lied to get in anywhere on, in Europe. They lied to get into Europe. Anywhere on this earth, whether they went in with you know, like they had great intentions and then they rose up, uh, uh, came to, you know, a place where when they risen, they meant 
evil intentions. So we got to take all this in consideration. See, what I've been shown is being that what we've taught biblically, we must get that biblical lineup of what that truth is and point to it outside the Bible. A lot of our people are pointing to what's only in the Bible and don't come outside the Bible to say, okay, this is what this is like the Ten Commandments. We see it in the Bible, but where did it actually come from? It comes from the walls of Kemet, which is called the Ma'at. You understand? So everything that, that the Bible speaks of, we must point to it outside of the Bible for that. Even all those different wars that they claimed had been in Israel in the Bible in Jerusalem and in these different places historical facts show that those wars were mainly in in Kemet the temples were in Kemet all these things about temples that the Bible speak of like it was only to the Israelites which was given from the being in the uh, wilderness all those things that was that was given supposedly unto Moses and Abraham and so forth. It was already being done in Egypt and Kemet. So anybody want to get to a place to understand and go further around your wheel, do the historical lineup to line up what the Bible says. Because remember, the Bible is only a book, a book of reference that points to real, you know, historical facts are people but also it has fluff and also it has lies and deceits in it that either things have been shifted added or removed however the situation is so i'm going to leave this with you all and i pray that the most High bring the increase for further understanding because the lineup of you know uh how this occurred you know and i just want to back up a bit i know there's in south africa where ones have came forth and say that father had warned them a hundred years before uh, the colonizers came that they were coming and that they were going to bring a book and they were going to bring like a coin. They said it reminded them like a button that was told to them and they passed it down generation. But you imagine being told something almost a hundred years and nothing happened. But then it did happen when uh, South Africa because what they were trying to do is get into the heart of Africa and for whatever reason father did not allow them to get there yet they got to the north what you call North Africa which is what you know of Kemet Libya Morocco and so forth what we see the landmass called Israel today and to the outskirts of Ethiopia even though they keep saying oh Ethiopia was never colonized but Ethiopia was infiltrated their features, their genome has changed. And then you go into South Africa. Then you go into Kal Kalari uh, Desert. And then once speak about the sand people. I want, you know, once to go deeper about the sand people. Because it's, the sand people features is definitely, definitely has been infiltrated. You understand? There are some sand people who are dark, you, you melanin you know skin and there's some that are you know high what you would call yellow or uh lighter with but their features with the eye shape is is similar so i did read also about um say the asians how you know there was early on when i first came into this awakening there were some brothers teaching about um when you line up and point to the asian people they point to um lot and Lot's two daughters who slept with Lot. Now, this is what the Bible says. And they procreated. And that's how the, say, the Asian race started with the eyes and slant and so forth, that and the other. However, I'm not saying, and I'm not, you know, say I'm co-signing or, you know, uh, saying that is what that is. All I'm saying is that it says from, from uh, in this article I read, and if I come across that again, and I don't know if I added it to my areas of where I would could refer back to but what it was saying is that you know incest it was saying that how they inbreed it 
with you know each other so that goes to share also when you look at um when you look at um everything that the bible says about you know the culture of our african uh, brothers and sisters in africa we should point to them and but we need to go beyond the surface of what you see today um a lot of what africa has became is westernized so when you go deeper to ones who been set aside who did not get all entangled and entwined with the bible per se and they know the roots and the cultures you understand that they can point to the bible and say yeah these are things that i and our our forefathers knew before the bible even came these are the people that we need to be talking to these are the people that we need to be at the forefront at their need to be at our forefront we need to be at their feet in so many ways you understand so when when you get to a place where they they say well um you know these different things that has occurred that the bible is saying oh this and the bible is saying that but these are things that we have have practiced and we know that this is what this means but it's being like twisted and turned so the the generation of today of what we see now has you know, became more so westernized and is moving in, in a, I want to say, a fast rate away from the original, you know, say, customs in so many ways. We we need to go deeper below the surface to understand that it's definitely more to it. It's just not what we see, you understand, what, you know, it has been portrayed so there's something else I wanted to share. So Father want want me to bring it to your attention. I would I definitely will do that. Um and let's see here. So it's surrounding the um the ones that were already there who did not, you know, subscribe to any of what the Bible like being saying taught by ones where you imagine taking our customs and cultures and compiling it, you understand, and putting it in a book and, and then coming back and teaching you something that is watered down and we don't know any better because we have lost our way. We have fell asleep. So we, we're taking on what these people are saying when we should be listening to ones who have not been infiltrated not only in the geno but also in the knowledge these are the people feet that we should be before according to what i understand and i pray that that day come i wanted to you know at one point had you know set out to start where once can come together and talk about things from different countries in africa but father did not have that for me to do the increase on it so it stayed at a standstill i don't know if something that it will that i will revisit um and be allowed to revisit but that wasn't in my pathway to do so i didn't know if i gave that information for someone else to take on and take up and they're doing it and i just don't know about it but it's so very important that um that we line up the bible whatever is in the bible it must match outside the bible which we call historical facts there's no such thing you just stay in the bible and nothing outside the bible makes sense to you that's that's just that is the wrong way to look at what this is okay all right, fam. So I believe that's it. And if I'm later come back on with a part two to this, I will. But as of right now, um, please understand that the lineup of us waking up, we know that, like I said, it's a beginning, there's an end, and we're in the midst of it in this process, that it is that we are being awakened. And it is by divine order. And it is a timeline that we're on. We may not know all the ins and outs, but we are in the midst of something that is happening. That is what I understand it to be the inevitable reversal of knowledge. Therefore, that will bring power that is from our creator. And you all have a great rest of your day as the most high. Give me leeway. I'll come back on and share further.
Matondo, and Ghetto.